All right, welcome to the second year of Surreal Vale City Online Magazine. That's right, July 5th, 2017, for one year anniversary. And I'm pumped about year two, honestly. I have a few new ideas. In fact, one for probably September that, no, I'm not even giving you a clue. The only clue I'll give you about is that has to do with something the Lehigh Valley has, is known for. That covers a wide range of topics, all right? But, um, when I look at the archives, I look at everything that's been covered. I look at where it started. I mean, Vail City, from the start, was designed to expand beyond Lehigh Valley. It was designed to, yes, cover the Lehigh Valley, but not to extend it at that valley and beyond it for the simple fact of been there, done that. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it in, that to in those terms, but it got to, it, there's a lot to do here in Lehigh Valley, don't get me wrong, especially in the summer, a lot going on. But the problem is, after you've lived here a few years and you've, you know, you're covering everything, you're doing everything on your own, you're, trying, you're hitting these events, at times running yourself, in, your body into the, mentally and physically into the ground past exhaustion, that okay you start realizing guess what i'm starting to sound monotonous and boring because this is the second third fourth time i've done i've got i've been here and covered this and it's pretty much very little has changed so year two coming up done with the past all right for almost the entire time that surreal veil city has existed my, the laptop I had fried in the summer of last year. So this has been done on a tablet. It's been done between three different computers, three different locations, and including two libraries. The laptop, raising, raising the finances to afford a laptop is critical. You know, finances are always critical even in your daily survival, no matter what you do. But for the magazine, that is critical for several reasons, including condensing up and saving a lot of time. You wouldn't believe the amount of time and the limited time I have between the two libraries trying to jam everything in, especially if it's uh, a crazy week with events. So, and what I'm really pumped up about is the, expand the possibilities of expansion as finances become available. July 15th, if there's any way in, in heaven, hell, or anywhere in between, for the first time myself and both other of my magazines will be covering an event in New York City. Major city, never been there. Witches Festival, July 15th, make sure if you are any, if you can get there, make sure you go. All right. August, on the agenda, Virginia. That's right, going down down the line. We'd love to. We'd make every attempt to. Um, a couple of reasons for the expansion here. And yes, I'm still pumped. It's just trying to, you know, getting, getting serious, giving it how serious I'm about things. I guess the other reason for the expansion, the Lehigh Valley to one percentage and one extent or another relies on tourism. Start getting the magazine out of the area. Start getting it known in other areas. People come in from people come in for the summer, the holidays, season, etc. Guess what? Check out about check out Surreal Vale City. Check out the valley and beyond its predecessor. You have a damn good idea of what's going on. The magazine will continue and will always be on the street level, no matter how far thing any media I have goes, no matter how high how many floors above the streets I may end up, my office may end up. It'll always be here on the street level. It'll always be uncut, uncensored, unedited reality. That's how everything was set up from the start. You know, as you, as the valley, as the valley and beyond evolved, that's how things naturally took place, especially when everything moved to video. And the street level is where everything happens. The street level is re is real. I mean, you know, 
the good and the bad. This is where everything happens. So, and the third thing I'm pumped, I actually pumped that I'm trying very hard to do, in addition to expanding the topics covered, getting on politicians, press lists, etc. Um, but the third major thing that I'm really, that I'm trying very hard to do is have the magazine pull up a support role here in Lehigh Valley. That, and by support, support role, that has two functions. That has two different uh, directions. Number one, to uh, this year, media sponsor for Pagan Pride Day and Lehigh Valley Punk Rock Picnic to increase the media sponsorship. And by media sponsorship, I mean do a quick trade, you know, advertising and promotion for, hey, look, just pop it, pop it up on, you know, pop the magazine up on the site as a media sponsor, we're good to go. And also for 2018, to become a financial sponsor of a few events. I mean, it'll be 25 bucks to start with, but hey, it's something. And there's three events already on, on the list for 2018 for actual financial sponsorship. Number one, first and foremost, something I covered this year for the first time, had a blast at it, already looking forward to next year, Southside Film Festival. You wanna talk about it, you wanna talk about a great time, a variety and a very a unique experience. This is one this is one of the few when we have out of though if you've been here for a few years that will still provide that that excitement for you. Number two, Pagan Pride Day. By Pagan Pride, I don't mean the motorcycle club, no offense. Talk about the pagan religion. This is an excellent festival to show, to get the word out, to sh educate people, to bring your family to, have a great time. Um, and, you know, especially the way they're evolving. Next year is the five year anniversary of 2018. And in general, you know, about the pagan religion. All right, to say, hey, guess what? It's just like, any, you know, it's another belief system out there. You know, to, and, one of the primary functions is to educate people. Uh, covered it this year, media sponsor, don't regret a single second of it. Coming to be financially sponsoring that next year. Third thing, you know I haven't been there yet. It just looks so cool that I cannot pass this up. This one is in New York, um, Astor Place up in New York. I think I got that right. Uh, the Witches Festival magazine, even if it's only just 25 bucks, will be a media, will be a, a sponsor for that. Now, on to the second thing, the second half of the support role. The magazine has tried to help uh, various organizations, various causes, suicide prevention, first responders, etc., 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 in several ways. Valley and Beyond tried to do that too. I, admit, I will be in the process, as time permits, to contacting different organizations. Top ones are anything to do with. Uh, victims, survivors, and the families of violence, domestic violence, number two, suicide prevention, uh, and, you know, number three, animal sh uh, to help out animals. So the magazine, I'm trying to get in the magazine involved in supporting different organizations and char uh, charities. Can't get, can't get them all, but the first two, the violence and suicide prevention, they're personal to me, all right? So, I have a rundown of what's coming, of what to look forward to for the next 364 days for Surreal VLC. You have a general idea. Like I say, I have a few surprises coming up, especially one main one that I literally just came up with the idea for about 20 minutes ago. Look for September 2017. Uh, that's when things kind of take a break between the summer and October for, October, uh, October, Halloween, the Oktoberfest, etc. Perfect time to pull this off. As always, to the financial and otherwise sponsors for both magazines, thank you so much. Without you, nothing would have kind of never, nothing would have made it this far. People talk about going after your dreams for four years, over four years now. I've gone after one of mine. I've put my life, my heart, my soul. Into, into every word, into every part of the site designs, into every everything with Surreal Vale City and the valley and beyond. No joke. So to, and to everybody out there who supports the magazine through page views, feedback, etc., thank you because without you, there wouldn't be a point to this. Michael Phoenix, founder and entire staff of Surreal Vale City Online Magazine, 
founder of its predecessor, Valley and Beyond. Thank you so much to everyone. Remember, we get one chance every moment in life. Take it. Take the, take the chance. Take the shot. And don't regret it.